Question for you. What happens below a Reboa balloon when you go from full occlusion to partial occlusion? You get muddy waters, literally and figuratively. So let's wade into these muddy waters. My name is Adam Power and I am the Chief Medical Officer of Frontline Medical Technologies and also a practicing vascular surgeon. Minimizing ischemia with aortic occlusion and trauma is discussed a lot these days and there is controversy over what is the best strategy balancing the bleeding risk. Is it full, partial, intermittent, or even automated? Getting right to the point, if your goal is purely to target a specific distal mean arterial pressure to provide partial balloon occlusion, the so-called set it and forget it approach, then most aortic occlusion balloons currently available are capable of doing this, including the Cobra OS. And the idea is not really new. For instance, Dr. Joe Dubose described doing partial rebel with the original 12 French compliant aortic occlusion balloon in 2016. Dr. Tal Horror has been using a compliant 7 French balloon for most of his partial rebel animal studies over the past few years. And clinically, the Japanese have been doing partial Roboa regularly as far back as 2011. One of the main challenges, though, using devices not specifically designed for partial Roboa has been taking small amounts out of the balloon to allow for precise targeting of distal maps. Watch how fast you can empty 10 cc's from a 12 French device. You can imagine how hard it would be to stop deflating right at the point when your target distal map is reached. Therefore, the only way to be accurate with large inner flow lumen devices like this is to attach a three-way stopcock and use a smaller syringe to remove small amounts, which is what Dr. DuBose did. Or you can use an angioplasty balloon insufflation device for more precise deflation management. However, watch how much slower it is to empty 10 cc's from the Cobra OS, which was purposely designed to have a small inner flow lumen. It is much easier to land on your target map when your deflation is automatically controlled. The partial Roboa titration curve from our recent publication shows how the Cobra OS titrates from full occlusion to no occlusion over about 4 cc's, which is more than enough to target a distal map if that is your goal. I like to use partial occlusion whenever I am performing aortic occlusion, so we made a video to show you how I suggest doing partial Roboa with the Cobra OS. Enjoy!